About 144 to 97 million years ago, this rather unknown species of dinosaur roamed southwest Arkansas. And then in the early 1970s, a Joe Friday, just the facts, just the facts, ma'am, unearthed the only dinosaur bones in the state, which led to the designation of this dinosaur as Arkansas Friday. And in 2017, this guy became the official state dino. Joe Friday took us out on his property in Locksburg to show us where he discovered the dino bones. So, Mr. Friday, set the scene for us here back in 1972, uh, August of 1972. This was like a shallow gravel pit. Yes. And they were using the gravel to repair the highway. Well, when they built the highway. I see. And, and, and how was it that uh, exactly that you, you found these foot bones? What were the circumstances? Um, I walked down through the gravel pit and there was a, a ditch had eroded down through the middle about two feet deep. And that was the easiest walking and I was walking down it. And there were a couple of these sticking out from the side of that ditch. And I'm naturally curious. I stopped, and scratched around, and found several of them. I had no idea what they were. Now, when you found these bones, they weren't intact like this. No, not at all. See these cracks here? I mean, that's. I, picked, I had a, two cigar boxes in my truck, <laughs> and I picked them up and put them in those cigar boxes mm -hmm. and sent them to. Fayetteville like that, and Dr. Quinn put them together. Well, first, though, you had them on display. You owned a gas station at the time, and you actually had them on display at the gas station, but you didn't know what they were. No, they were in this cigar box yeah. there. Mm -hmm. I had no idea what, what it was. And so finally, the, the geology professor at the U of A had them checked out. Yes. So what, what, what did you think when you initially found out that they were actually dinosaur bones? <laughs> I was surprised. <laughs> how does it make you feel, I, I'm just curious, how does it make you feel to be the only person in the state thus far to find dinosaur bones and you're not even a paleontologist? Uh, I don't know, no, n not really any feelings. <laughs> I'm not an excitable type person. This life-size model of Arkansas Fridayi is housed at the Arkansas Geological Survey Learning Center in Little Rock. So, you know, you have to keep in mind that only pieces of the foot bone were found, and those are reconstructed based on um, its comparison to similar dinosaurs. And so the similar dinosaurs with a, with a foot bone would be the ornithomimids, these were ostrich-like dinosaurs, hence giving you the long neck and the, the bulbous eyes. So again, we took a lot of artistic, um, you know, um, ability here in creating this from a description, of course, uh, in the literature of how ornithomimid dinosaurs are. Um, and other ornithomimid dinosaurs that have been found complete skeletons, you know, have been 9 to 15 feet tall, had the long neck and the huge bulbous eyes. So this is our rendition, if you will, because, again, only the foot bones were found, and we don't know exactly how large, you know, or what it would have exactly looked like. Because um, it is not exactly the same age as, you know, some of the other ornithomimids. We don't have a complete history of dinosaurs in the eastern part of the United States like we do in the western part of the United States. Um, so that's where the um, characteristics come from are basically those descriptions and this is just our rendition of what he may have looked like. Um, again, relatively speaking to other dinosaurs, fairly small, to us fairly large of course. But a, of course bipedal dinosaur walked on two legs. Uh, which is compared to the large, uh, giant, long-necked dinosaurs who walked on four legs, which we do have trackways of them as well. 
So this walked on two legs and is considered omnivore because of the beak. Obviously would not have been probably a meat eater that was attacking and killing, you know, eating meat, but would probably steal eggs out of nests and, and mostly eat, you know, plants and just what it could scavenge because it was one of the smaller dinosaurs. In 1998, Chandler wrote a publication about Arkansas Fridayi for the Geological Survey. That's when I first started at the survey and uh, was looking for projects. I was really interested in, you know, our fossil history that we have in the state. And, uh, you know, we already were aware of these bones that had been discovered of this dinosaur, Arkansas Fridayi. So I was able to do some research on uh, the bones and then, you know, they had been looked at by other scientists like Dan Schur. Um, and so I was, you know, interested in researching it. So at the survey, they allow us to do research on, you know, our areas of interest. So I did that and was able to help out with one of the uh, pamphlets that we do at the survey of just general interest to anyone in the state. And of course, Arkansas Friday I here is named after the state of Arkansas. Arkansas, and then Friday after the man who found him, who's Mr. Joe Friday. And so it's really just been a common name. It's never been an official genus and species name uh, until it was recently described by Rebecca Hunt, uh, just in the, I believe that was last year. So now it's officially Arkansas Friday Eye, and it's officially our, our, our state, uh, Arkansas State Dinosaur now as well.